coming back and I have got my new air fryer so I've been playing around with it and I found a few things that I can do with it uh, so I'm gonna gonna show you so the first thing I'm gonna do is a frittata in the air fryer so let's have a look and see what we do okay so the first thing is as my air fryer is six and a half litres I can fit in it a 20 centimetre cake tin so that's what I've got and to it I'm going to add I've got three new potatoes which I've chopped up a quarter of a pepper and a quarter of an onion so I'm going to put that all in and we're going to spray with a little bit of oil give it a good mix around, get it all coated And then we're going to roast this first, so this is going to go in the air fryer. Okay, so this just goes straight in. See how it fits in there, lovely. And then we are going to set this at... Start air fryer 200 and we're going to go in for 10 minutes just to, uh, to roast them off okay so while the air fryer is doing that we're going to take three eggs and put them into a jug Add a bit of salt and pepper. And give it a whisk. And then we're going to add a handful of grated cheese. So I've got the finely grated, Let's put a little bit in, there we go. Okay, well we'll wait for the air fryer to finish. Okay, once that's done, gonna give it all a mix. And then we're going to pour that egg in. Mix it through again. And then this is going to go back in for seven minutes at 180. Turn it on, air fry, 180, 7 minutes. And that's all we need to do. Okay, there we go. It's as easy as that. So we're going to get this out and give it a try. Okay, let's give it a try.
yeah, pretty standard. Um, so it's really quick in there, really easy to do. I could have put um, one or two more eggs in there, maybe a bit more filling. I just didn't want to fill the cake tin up too much because it puffs up. You don't want it to go over the edge. But So yeah, you can just experiment with it. Um, but that's this one. Let's see what I've got coming up next. Okay, next up we have got cheese and egg bagel in the air fryer. Really simple. So let's have a look and see what we do. Okay, so what you want to do is to line the uh, drawer with greaseproof paper. Um, so this is because we're putting the egg straight onto it. So I've got my bagel. I've actually got a bagel thin. Um, you can do it with both. Um, so you split it open and you put it cut side down. And put them next to each other. Next up, you want to take an egg, and however you want to do this, you might want to um, put it into a, a, a small jug or, or something like that first. But we're going to try and get the yolk in the middle. Next up, we just want to sprinkle over some grated cheese. Doesn't matter how much. And then this is going to go in at 180 degrees for 7 minutes. There we go, they look great. You can see the egg whites are done. Hopefully, the yolk is still runny. Um, let's get it out and have a look. Okay, so we just need to get it off the paper, but be gentle, like I say, the yolk should still be runny. Let's check this yolk then. Okay, it's very soft. It's not runny. Oh, that one is. There you go. Runny, yeah. Okay, let's uh, give this a little try then. egg is cooked perfectly um, I might try and take it out a few seconds earlier my old air fryer where both yolks were runny but this one just seems just slightly over but it's still perfect the egg whites are cooked so yeah nice and easy seven minutes that's all it takes so so yeah okay what's up next Okay, last one then, I'm going to try and do poached eggs in the air fryer. So hopefully this turns out, because I'm not very good at doing them in water, and I really don't like microwaved eggs. So 
let's have a go and see what happens. Okay, so I've got two ramekins and we are first of all going to spray some oil in them. And use a finger and make sure it goes all the way around the edges. Next up, we're going to put three tablespoons of hot water. And then we're going to crack an egg into each one. Okay, let's move over to the air fryer. Okay, so we place these into the basket. And then we go at, have a look, air fry for 180 for 5 minutes. And that should hopefully have the runny yolk but the white's cooked. Okay, so they've been in a lot longer. They've actually been in for um, 12 minutes already. So I'm not quite sure what's going on, but let me see if I can get them out. Right, okay, so I've got a slotted spoon, so I'm just going to try and get it out. Okay, so it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Just there's the rest of it. the other one okay so I think they might have been done but I just couldn't tell that they were done because it just looked like it was a load of water so yeah see it's very soft um, so so yeah they don't look like what you think they would but there we go anyway so that's a poached egg I'm gonna have to keep practicing on that one Okay, that's it for me for my air frying eggs. Um, stay tuned, hopefully I shall find some more things to do in my new air fryer. Uh, so keep experimenting, have fun and I'll see you next time.